Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Plans. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Man, it's cool people. I want to say this. We didn't spoke about Zorilla. Mm-hmm. We didn't talked about Young Ready. You mentioned earlier, like I say, True Bleeder. Man, the guy was so talented. He was a shining star. We hate that it happened, but, you know, I want to yeah. say, Wookie was telling me about this guy. Just telling me, like, he the one, he the one. I'm not saying I didn't believe him, but I didn't know. He put me yeah, on game. Yeah. Months went by, this nigga catching fire. Boom, yeah. 50,000 views, 100,000. Who this nigga? Right. And this thing, you know, I'm working. I'm this. I'm. I tried to tell you this him. Yeah. So I done seen you and True Bleeding a lot of videos. He, you know, what I'm saying videos with you, whatever. Yeah. Like, what, what was your relationship like with him? That was like a little brother. I ain't never had type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he. I'm a queer and Le Bleeder a queer. So I don't know if that's what it was. Like how we just jam like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know him too long. You know what I'm saying? Like. But when I met him, it was just love, like, you feel me? Sometimes I used to go get, like, sessions and shit and just, like, I might record a song at a little eight-hour session, and I'll just let them come do their shit, like, bleed her, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, uh, like I said, I've been, like, when I first heard him, I liked this shit, but you ain't gonna know how raw he really is till you get in the studio with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, he just one of them niggas who just had it. Like, everybody ain't just got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. He he made me pick up the speed on some shit because, man, we had a session one day. I think we did, like, three songs in three hours. And, um, like, I usually have my shit kind of prep, but he just, he turned the beat on, listen to that bitch rap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, shit, shit. You don't wanna die, no, no, no. You don't wanna die, no, no, no. Yeah. You don't wanna die, no, no, no. Yeah, hit that bit like that. Oh, yeah. So I ain't had no choice. Like, I ain't had no choice. I'm telling him, I'm like, I ain't lying, bitch. You just made me a little better. He like, no, bitch, you already had that in you. You hear me? Type shit. That nigga just, that nigga was just ahead of his time, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was just he was ahead like, of his time. Me, he was like an old, young nigga. Yeah, like, that's I, what he was. Like, he was, he seen with emotion. Like, we don't get that. Young niggas don't, don't be sounding like that. Yeah. Like, that's how, I, I mean, I don't know what he really went through as a kid. Yeah. But he see he rap with so much passion. He yeah. sung with emotion. I I just I like when he's like harmonizing and stuff like yeah. that. So I, I ain't lying. Lil one had been through some shit though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He lost his he lost his older you know what I'm saying his older brother. Um, Lil Mon. Yeah, I heard about that. One of, the, yeah, one of um, Jungle Music Lab partners. Um, you know he he just had he had them been through some shit. Like you feel me? And the thing with me like. Um, Hardy King called me like we would. He hit me up. I was supposed to do an interview with Bleeder. I, I never got a chance to. I yeah. was, we was we was putting it together, mm-hmm. and I hate it didn't happen. But man, R.I.P. to him. But we didn't we didn't talk about Bleeder. We didn't talk about Zorilla. Depth is depth. We all accept yeah, depth in certain sure. ways. Right. But out of all those people, like which one really hurt you the most, affected you the most? I would say what you would say. Bleeder. I ain't lying. Bleed him. That shit hurt me. I'm going to keep it real. Like, I ain't, I don't, I'm numb to that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm numb. I cry. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I talked to him the day before. He, had, he was just finna sign a deal. You know what I'm saying? But I was on house arrest, so we wasn't, like, when, when I first got on house arrest, I was in the house. Like, I ain't leave out the house. You feel me? So I, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't in a studio and shit like that. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? But 
you know, when a nigga told me about this shit, that shit, that shit fucked me up. Like, it fucked me up. But we was on FaceTime the night before. He was telling me, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, such and such asking about you and shit like that. The people who he was finna sign a deal with, he was telling me, like, yeah, they asking about you and shit. You know, I just know like this, like, you know, everybody got their own shit going on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, sure. but I know for a fact, like, if, if Bleeder was, was here, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially like me, like, I ain't gonna say I'm forget I ain't gonna say I'm forgot about, you know, I might be a little underrated and shit, but Bleeder was one of them niggas who knew like, man, you you one of them type shit. Bleeder would have would have made sure a nigga was if you feel me, he would have did what he could do. Whatever he could do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so and and the record for my bleeders, yeah, that was a dedication. Yeah. On some shit. Like, you know, nigga trying to hear what hear what a nigga got to say, basically. You feel me? And at that time, too, I was on House Arrest. That was the first time I recorded again since I had been on House Arrest. And it was kind of hard, like, like me and B recording that bitch. It was kind of hard for me to do it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people like the song. You feel me? But it, it was hard for me to do that song. I'm going to keep it real. Was it, like, emotional writing it or recording it? Was yeah, it? I ain't really write it, but it was it was emotional. Mm-hmm. But I just ain't want to do it. Like, it was more on some shit like, man, fuck this shit mm-hmm. type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep it real, like after I did that song, it's like I got back in the studio and I I, I got in that groove, like I got in a whole nother groove type shit. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, that's what I did a couple nice little motherfuckers after that I put out, I think. But yeah. Straight up, okay. Yeah, shit, shit. Oh, I pity bleed.